The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. A leper came to Jesus and kneeling down begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched him, and said to him, I do will it. Be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then, warning him sternly, he missed him at once. He said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof to them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad. So it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places, and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please. Today I would like to talk about a subject that uh, I dealt with for many, many years when I was in law enforcement. The letter of the law and the spirit of the law. Now when a person follows the letter of the law, they are keeping to the literal meaning of the words of that law. But when a person follows the spirit of the law, they are doing what their conscience dictates and not necessarily adhering to the wording of that law exactly. Now say for example you're walking down the street and you see a house on fire and you hear screams of help from inside. And you go and on the front lawn is this big sign that says, no trespassing. Violators will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, no exceptions. Well, if you follow the letter of the law, you're going to step back and do what that sign says. Don't trespass and hopefully call 911. If you adhere to the spirit of the law, you might just say, heck with that sign and run right in to the burning building. Now, I know that's a very extreme hypothetical situation, but let's look at some laws that are now on the books, the laws of the land. Let's pick a couple. Let's say illegal immigration and abortion. Now those are very polarizing laws. And people, there are people that adhere in those laws to the letter of that law and follow every sentence of that one. And then there's people that do what their conscience dictates and let that dictate what their actions are going to be. In the Gospels, Jesus is awful, always shown as being kind of critical of the Pharisees. Now the Pharisees, what they were trying to do was be faithful to the laws handed down by God. But they did it in such a rigid and strict manner. In the first reading, we hear that even the people of that time had bought in to this literal, strict meaning of the letter of the law. For example, a leper is roaming the street. And what are the people supposed to do? <coughs> they immediately take that leper to the priest. Now, in our 21st century thinking, we think of a priest like Father Mike. The leper comes to the priest. Father Mike would treat him kindly, offer some aid, some assistance. But no, back then, the job of the priest was to do one thing and one thing only. And that was to declare the leper unclean. And not just physically, but spiritually too. And then to compound matters, the priest would tell the leper, you have to rip your clothes, <coughs> shave your beard and your head, and when you go back out on the street and people approach you, you have to say, unclean, unclean. Now that was a real rigid and strict interpretation of that law. It wasn't until many years later when Jesus walked the earth 
that he showed a more compassionate, a more forgiving way for people to interpret the laws. In 2 Corinthians, there's a passage that talks about the letter versus the spirit, where the letter is the old covenant, the laws handed down to Moses by God and written in stone. We've all heard that expression, right? It's in stone. That's where that comes from. <coughs> where the Spirit is the Holy Spirit of the New Covenant. And Jeremiah said that the New Covenant will be written in the heart, not on tablets of stone. So now we fast forward to the Gospel reading. And again, it's about a leper, but we see a whole different way of applying the law. The leper approaches Jesus. And back then, when an unclean person like a leper approached you, I mean, you would back away. Because if that person touched you, back then people thought that just by touching would transmit the disease. And then, if a leper inadvertently touched you or purposely touched you, you would have to immediately go to the priest to get purified before you could ever step foot in the synagogue again. <coughs> but what does Jesus do? He doesn't back away. He lets the leper approach him all the way right next to him. And what does Jesus do? He kindly touches the leper. That was unheard of back then. He touches the leper and cures him. Now what Jesus was trying to illustrate was that he came to this earth not to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. So that people would use their common sense and let their conscience be their guide. Like I've heard Father Mike say time and time again, if it's a jump ball between the law and the people, the tip will always go to the people. And what Jesus was trying to impart to the people then and to us today is to be compassionate to your fellow man. Be caring. And always, always have forgiveness 